Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So yesterday was pretty much, I don't want to say waste your time, but it was pretty bad, okay? I felt like I, I got a little dumber after I was watching the video. Goodness, it was terrible. Uh, so hopefully we're going to, hopefully we're going to be better this time, okay? I'm going to show friends at Discord channel. We are doing the another simulcast this afternoon. Uh, by the way, if you haven't joined our Discord, if you guys want to just come hang out with us, uh, we do mainly a lot of video chat, okay? Uh, we have about 7 to 10 people. Um, even like yesterday, we had like 20, almost 20 people showed up. So, so everybody just come together, hang out, share the recipes, and it's, it's a lot of fun there. So if you guys are uh, wonder about the link, uh, let me know. Okay, I'm going to put the link. Okay, I'm going to put the link uh, on the Discord description, not the description, uh, but the comment section as well, all right? I'm going to, uh, anyway, also join the live chat as well. Uh, so this, okay. Do not try this. Let's set up a little, kind of like mimic. Let's say you want to make latte at home and you don't have coffee machines. So this is pretty much you do have stove, I hope, okay? I hope you guys have a stove at home. Uh, so let me show you how I'm going to make latte without a coffee machine. And uh, I'm gonna flip the camera so that you guys can see it. So let's say, think of it, so this is your stove, okay? Let's say that, that is your stove. And uh, you only have like some kind of manual machine some kind of you have manual coffee machine and the, you want a latte. You know what? So this is the best thing. So, and the, you don't have a machine grinder. So I already grind some coffee beans already. Uh, I use my hand grinder here. So this is a timer X light. Coffee grind is already ready to go. So we got a coffee ready. I'm going to be using my flare 58. Uh, it should be a lot quick. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of fast process. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna use a scale. I'm just gonna eyeball it because not everybody is scale. So, so let's get going, guys. Let's get going. I'm gonna pull the shot first. So again, the setups are very simple for me. Simple setup here, but I do want to use my homemade WDT tool. There we go. And then I'm going to give it a quick temp. Hold on a second, guys. I'm just going to do a quick temp here. Put the puck screen ready. So this, uh, this is ready to go. All right, so I got my water boiling here. So that's the stuff for the milk. So as you can see, water is boiling. And this uh, comes to frothing milk. I'm gonna use the water, uh, milk picture from Nano, uh, actually it's called Nano Former from Sub Minimal. I mean, you can use any other milk frother, but you know, so this one works pretty good as well all right so let's make some coffee guys okay i'm just gonna lock it in all right since i do not have a gooseneck kettle i'm just gonna transfer the water Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna put it down first. Okay. Trying to put all the way to the top, so no air bubble. Okay, just make sure watch out for the air bubble. Like it. 
I'm going to put a shot there. Hope you guys can see this. Just going to go nice and easy. If I see the drop right there, I'm just going to go Man, look at that, guys. Shot is a little fast. It's all right. Okay. Man, look at all that crema. Okay, and then I'm going to be working on the milk. So, I mean, if you're going to do it right, you know, you want to get a timing right. And some people likes to do pull the milk first, uh, and then espresso shot. Personally, I like to start with the uh, espresso shot first, and then milk. Okay, that's what I like to do. Now I'm gonna add the milk. I like to be around 130 degree there. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure monitor that. Uh, it should be take about you know less than a minute. Okay, less than a minute. Uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Uh, if you are watching this after the fact, uh, just skip this portion, okay? Just skip it. This is kind of like what you are watching paint dry, okay? As you can see, espresso, the, I'm losing the crema here. I'm losing crema. But meantime, I'm going to flush out the flare 58, just like so. Get that just drain the, all the rest of coffee. All right, so let's take a look temperature wise. Very, very close guys, 130 up. 136, 140. Okay, I'm gonna put back in. And then I'm going to be working on the nano former. Just now do the circular rotation there. I think the milk is good. I'm just gonna quick clean. It's gonna be a little flat white, okay? Oh, you do need to practice the comes to if you don't use the nanoformer. Man, this is failed miserably, guys. Where is the art? Man. Hold on, goodness, this is embarrassing. But you know what, in the end of the day, okay, it's all about the taste, all right? So let's check out the taste, okay? It's all about the taste. All right. Okay. So. So let's try the, yes. The uh, latte hour was fair, but it's gonna be a little flat white there. Cheers. Man. 
I need to work on the nano former. Okay. Okay. So, I want to spend, uh, so one of one of you get it. They give you two tips. One for the fine. One for the regular. So this one is. Uh, I think I should change it. The the other one give you more microform. But yeah. But again, so this one actually any kind of uh, <clears throat> device like this works pretty good. But this is the from sub minimal. You know, hold on a second. Guess what? Shot of caramel makes everything better. Just one shot. Okay. <clears throat> one shot of caramel. Hold on. Again, uh, you don't have to have the machine to make your, uh, make yourself latte. And also another method is a French press method too. Uh, you can get a French press. And you can just, I think French press works definitely. Okay. Man, this is good. Yeah. Uh, if you don't, if you don't want to use this, get a hot milk. Hold on. Uh, put some little bit of milk on the bottom there. Uh, you just pump it a few times, uh, more than a few times, so five or six times, and you're gonna create that mi nice microform too. So um, you're gonna have, a, you're gonna have a lot more options. Anyway, I'm going to be shout out to friends on, we got some few people on live chat. We got, uh, we have Yoda. Uh, yeah, Yoda, I'm going to put the link on the Discord. Okay, I'm done with it. We got Paul, Jonathan, Ren, Dogman. We got, did I say Paul? We got Richard from France there as well. Shout out to Mary. Okay. You got Master CJ. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, Scale Time Media. Uh, with decent milk frother. Okay. Okay, hold on. And uh, cook, uh, cooker for coffee said, don't forget the caramel. Yes. J just one. Okay, just one's good. It's not bad. Okay, think about it though. <clears throat> I mean, if. I mean, this one up here, I mean, it's, not, it's pretty simple. A uh, simple setup. Um, you have a stove at home. Uh, doesn't matter, gas stove or some kind of stove. And uh, take about what? 30 seconds to heat up your milk. And to pull the shot with your manual machine. Especially like, uh, like, like flare. Goodness. The cleanup is. Hopefully, I can show you guys the cleanup. Just take the puck, you know, just, just take the port filter out. That's it, just toss it. Now you're gonna have, now you are uh, ready for the next shot, okay? I mean, the pucks are pretty dry. And it comes to a grinder, just get yourself, you know, some kind of hand grinder, you know? Get yourself some hand grinder. I mean, you could make really, really good the latte at home, okay? Anyway, I hope uh, you guys like this video. Uh, we got John. Shout out to John from Cripple Creek, Colorado. Okay. Is a dogman from Poland? No, dogman is definitely not from Poland. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Hold on. Yoda has a question here. One question. If I have old coffee, you think a filter is better? Espresso is miserable. You know what? Do the filter coffee. Yeah. I think you're right, okay? Filter coffee should be fine. The espresso is a tricky one because, I mean, obviously you want to get a fresh, you know, coffee as possible and depend on the roasting level, different origin. It's hard to dial then sometimes, yeah, definitely, okay? All right, I think we are good. Again, uh, uh, if you don't have coffee machine, it's not the end of the world, guys. Uh, just get yourself some kind of milk frother. That's it. You're going to have some really nice latte. And I'm going to see you guys next time.